I'm allowed to say that it's called looking up a Queen's clacker. <laughs> I mean, um, it's um, it's really rewarding um, to be able to do that. I mean, it's there's not that many people that do it in Australia because it's so hard. But when you get the hot hang of it, like um, I showed you here today, it's um, yeah, it's absolutely stunning to be able to do that. satisfaction of being able to breed something. I mean, you might want to breed a racehorse. You might want to breed a cat or a dog. I want to breed a queen bee. It's as simple as that. And this is the method of doing it on the kitchen table, basically. Artificial insemination of queen bees is the safest method of bringing in the new genetics from the Varroa tolerant stock, which is available in the world at this particular point in time. And we, we should be able to get that stock in here and uh, help us with the to overcome the shock of row when we get it because we're going to lose a lot of it. Um, there's nothing more satisfying than going out there to your hive and seeing what you've done and how it's producing and then grafting from that stock and selling the uh, progeny on to um, every other beekeeper in the state who wants to purchase new genetics from the eastern states. We have a queen breeding program here from, uh, from the, called the Rottnest Island Group. It's um, unique in the world, uh, but from time to time we need to uh, lift the genetics and um, they do it very, very successfully. But this is another method of um, improving the stock or maintaining the level of production in Western Australia. It's the passion, you wear it on your sleeve. I mean, uh, you get guys that, you know, have got a passion in breeding, breeding a horse. Look at, look at Macaivia Diva. I mean, the, 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 the satisfaction that those guys got out of that horse is the, probably the same as what I get out of looking at one of the queens in the boxes. Oh, this is the holy grail of beekeeping.